Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of April 19th through the 25th. Now, I already did one for you all, and I uh, decided to do it over, um, but I just want to let you know a little bit what it said. Um, you got somebody that is against you, okay? This person is a troublemaker, okay? They may try to start problems, you know, start gossip, you know, team get a team up against you, you know, gang up against you, try to get people to, to go against you, that kind of thing. So beware of that. We had the caution tape card in this deck. We had the caution tape card and we had the outside looks good, um, but the inside is a mess. So that would be about a foundation. And I did see a shaky foundation, but it could be at work. It could be, be in your work environment, but it could also be in your home. I also had 444, which was angel protection and universal protection. And fours are also about foundations. So there is a foundation, and it could be your home. It could be your job. It could be your relationship. Or it could be your health, your body, because your body is a foundation that is going to experience a shakeup. It could be in your profession, like I said, job. Um, and I think that there's something you have been ignoring um, that is about to be dealt with. You can't ignore this. It has to be dealt with. This could be a team, uh, it could be a gang up. It could be a, like a team of haters that are ganging up against you. Um, but I have to let you know that you are protected because of that 444. There's universal protection here. They will not succeed in what they're doing. In fact, it will probably increase your value in some way. It will come back to bite them um, for what they are doing. So keep that in mind. Um, there is something that is about to be revealed. Now, I don't know if you're dealing with somebody that isn't very spiritual. We had the high priestess reversed in my other deck. So you could be dealing with somebody that is taking poor advice from tarot readers or healers or... Uh, well, they're not really healers if it's a high priestess in reverse. It's somebody that gives poor advice. Or, you know, they're not listening to their God. They're not listening to their intuition. I do believe that we have somebody here that is very, very shallow that um, is having a hard time uh, doing the right thing. And I say that because we had the Knight of Swords as well. Anyhow, I do believe that there is going to be some action. That, and we had the Knight of Wands in reverse right next to the Knight of Swords. So there is going to be some obnoxious action that is taken. And there's more than one person involved these people are teaming up on, against you. There's, and it's just, it's just childish. It's very, uh, it's just the energy. Okay, it could be the the first card out was Aries, which is Mars energy, fight energy, you know, war energy. So I do feel like you are going to be experiencing some sort of battle with people that you deal with on a regular basis. Do not let it bring you down. Do not let it um, bring fear into your life because I feel like it's fear-based. These people are trying to instill fear in you and there's some sort of jealousy around it. Don't let it. Don't let it happen. Okay, you are protected. It will come back to bite them. Change in living situation. You don't know your value and the end. Now, um, these all came out reversed. So there's not going to be a change in your situation. You do know your value and this is a new beginning. I mean, I'm going to leave them like this. You do know your value. You have a new beginning here and there is no change in your living situation. But this person may want you to believe all of this. Whoever it is that is finding somebody to work with them to take you down. It's exactly the opposite. Okay? There's no change. There's no change. Okay? I don't think there is. I really don't. I mean, there could be. There could be. Um, but...
I mean, there. I suppose there could be. There could be the end of a situation with somebody that you live with. Five, five, five. Expect the unexpected. This is a major life change when you get five, five, five. It's conflicts and change. It's positive change. It is positive change, but it comes after a conflict. It comes after a power struggle. This is personal freedom. So yes, there's going to be a power struggle. Expect the unexpected. Okay, 555 is conflict and change. Pay attention to what's happening right now because your life is about to change in a very big way. It is positive. This is the end of you not knowing your value. Okay, maybe you didn't know your value. You're about to learn it really fast. And it is very fast energy because we had the Knight of Swords and right next to it was the Knight of Wands reversed extremely fast. Things are going to happen extremely, extremely fast. Um, five, five, five is let go of the old and bring in the new. So, you know, you may be letting go of something with that, the end card, something is coming to an end. Maybe it's, maybe I mean, it's interesting because when I was explaining to this at the beginning, I did use the word value. It's going to increase your value. I do believe that your value is going to increase Join us. You may be receiving an invitation of some sort. An invitation is coming. Well, well, we definitely have an invitation that is coming. I shuffled as I said that. Rewind it. Ugh. Two faced. You are dealing with the two faced individual on positive. There is no doubt about it. You got, you have a hater, somebody that is wearing a disguise, or there's haters. This person may be proposed or per po. I still can't talk. It's been this way for months. They may pose themselves as a friend. This person is very two-faced. Um, expect the unexpected. This person's mask is about to come off. Ooh, we have an emotional outburst ahead. There is going to be an, and I, I think it's from the person, the person that you're dealing with. I don't think you're going to have the emotional outburst. What I said in my last reading was a rabble rouser. So a rabble rouser is a person that tries to cause problems. This person will engage as many people. It's almost like a narcissist. Okay. So it will, will engage as many people as they can to cause anger, to cause violence, to get people to hate you. Be prepared. And we had three of wands. So get prepared. This this is somebody that uh, is going to cause conflict because fives are conflict. Two of cups. Two of cups reverse is a separation. And maybe there's a partnership that is coming to an end. Okay. Because we have the partnership here. This is not compatible. There's no union. There's no unity. There's no, there could be an argument. I do believe there's going to be an argument. And this doesn't have to be a relationship. Could be a work partner. Could be, could be anybody that you partner up with. Um, sun. Sun is a card of happiness. It is yes. It is a new day. It is a breakthrough. It is a new beginning. So we do have an ending that leads to a new beginning. Um, this is the birth. This is creative energy, creating something, creating happiness, a creator. Some of you may be a creator. You may be a creator. You're obviously in some sort of partnership right now that is not compatible. Somebody, you, you, some of you may be going through a separation with somebody, may have something to do with children. Up here, we had children are a factor. So something to do with children here. Uh, I do believe that 
there is obviously going to be a change in your living circumstances. Some of you may hear news of a birth. There could, I mean, I, I, this is a separation, but this is a birth. Okay, there could be a pregnancy that is coming. Um, there is definitely an invitation is coming. So if you are single, if and I said this in the other one as well, if you are single, there is an offer that is coming in or there is somebody that is rushing into your life out of nowhere. Like I said, we had the Knight of Swords next to the Knight of Wands reversed. Something is rushing in out of nowhere. This is a new beginning. It is a new day. It is a breakthrough. For some of you, uh, you're going to be glowing. You're going to be shining. You're going to be starting something new. I do believe that you are definitely going to be receiving an invitation that makes you extremely happy. But you may not know your value. Maybe some of you may not be looking for a relationship. You don't want a relationship. Maybe you don't want to change in your living circumstances, a living situation. <laughs> Page of Wands, good news. This is good news. This is good news. This right here is presently, I don't know if you're arguing with somebody. If you are, things are going to get better. If you are in a partnership where there's some sort of argument going on, something is going to get better. Okay, this is good news. If you are single, you're alone, you don't have a partner, this is a new suitor coming into your life. This is an offer or an invite. You have invite three times. You are going to be receiving an invite from somebody. But you need to be careful because of that two-faced card. Maybe it's the end of a situation where you can't that where you have to wear a mask. You can just be yourself. Maybe you just take that mask off and you can just be yourself. You don't know your value. That two-faced could be it's obviously taking the mask off. You know, maybe maybe you just you can be yourself in this new partnership, this new union, whatever it is. This is new and this is a union, but I feel like there's some sort of uh Maybe it's fear. But anyway, I do believe that you are receiving an invite this week that could grow and it could make you really, really, there's a lot of growth. There's a lot of opportunity for growth. I do believe a seed is being planted this week. And I don't know if it's a, a seed that leads to a baby or if you receive news of a child or uh, whatever is happening, it does appear to be very, very good news. It is positive change. You can be yourself with this person. Whoever it is that you're with, you can be yourself. This is the end of pretending. It's the end of, of not knowing your value. It is the end of not knowing your value. You may get invited to a gathering or a get-together or something like that. And you meet and you meet somebody that is a perfect match for you. But this person is not your usual type. Could be dealing with a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, whatever is happening, we are in. This is the birth of a new life. This is creating a new life. This is some, something that is about to burst right into your world, and it is going to grow. And, it, and I think it's going to grow really, really, really fast. You're going to be taking a new direction. This is a new direction. It's a new discovery. This is a life-giving energy. It's very, very positive. It's a very positive change. But And this is kind of in the past because I go from past, present, to future. So I think that this, there's some sort of discontent in a partnership. This is a healing energy. It's a yes answer. It is positive news. It's a positive change. It is uh, things getting better. This is exciting. This is, we have an exciting new beginning here. Some of you may be creating something. You know, this is creative and this is creating something. You're going to be creating something, creating a new life. But what is this two-faced card? I feel like that's you. 
able. I feel like you're able to just take that mask off and be yourself completely with this person. This is the end of having to hide behind a mask. This is the end of, of having to be somebody you're not or to be fearful or whatever it is. Don't have any fear. Um, because this is you don't know your value, but I think you do know your value. This is a new day. This is a, this is a high vibration vibrating at a very high level. And this is a this is a new spark, a new flame, a new desire. So I you, maybe even a new sexual partner for some of you. This is definitely a very fertile time. If you are thinking about you know not wanting a child and, and you're of childbearing age and you're having sex, well you know you, somebody could get pregnant. Just saying. Anyhow, we do have a very positive change. Life is changing in a very big way. Okay. This is a new approach, it's a new idea, a new suitor with some or a new offer or something that you have a lot in common with. Some some sort of seed. I just want to keep saying seed. A seed is is growing. Something is growing. It's coming to fruition now. Oh my goodness, page of cups. Now that is welcome news. It is good news. Could be of a baby or a child or a new love. This is welcome and unexpected news that is coming. It could be coming from somebody that is younger than you. Doesn't have to be. You may be the younger one. It can go. There's, there could be a little bit of an age difference here is what I'm trying to say. But whatever is coming, it is definitely happy news, okay? Trust your gut, follow your heart, expressing feelings, exciting passion. You're going to be receiving an invite from somebody that could change your life for the better. Or you're going to be receiving some good news that is going to excite you and make you extremely happy, whatever it is. There's going to be a celebration of some sort. That's the way I feel. I don't care if this Two of Cups is reversed or not. I feel like in the past there's been some sort of disconnection or there's been an imbalance or there's been some sort of inequality or fighting or something like that. Maybe even an argument. It's, it's, if there has, it's over. The argument is over. This is a breakthrough. This is a new day. It's a new beginning. This is a yes answer. This is beautiful. Have no fear. Have no fear at all. This is extremely exciting. It's very exciting. You know, this. there's a new opportunity for love and passion here. I'm telling you what, expect the unexpected. Your life is about to change in a very, very, very positive way. If you are single, you're probably not going to be single for much longer. Nine of Pentacles reversed. That's giving up independence. So, um, or not becoming independent. Some of you could be, you know, getting proposed to. Anyhow, you have an, you definitely have something very positive that is coming to you. Um, if you got, some of you could be inventing something. You could be you could be inventing something that is going to grow very very fast. You'll be getting a lot of support from people. Some of you have an admirer. Okay, you have an admirer here who. Um, is going to be expressing their feelings. They're going to be, that's, maybe that's what the two faces. That person's going to come out of hiding. They're going to take their mask off, whatever. They're going to show their face. You know, so I, I feel as though uh, you definitely have somebody here that is about to give you an offer or an invite that is going to make you extremely happy. You're going to get some happy news that changes your life in a very big way. Could change your living situation. Somebody could end up living with you. You know, maybe if it's a, if somebody's having a baby or getting a child, that changes your living situation. I do believe there is a positive change here and it is absolutely 100% beautiful. You could you could receive news, I don't know. 
of, of uh, your child having a child, you know? Um, hmm. Somebody is receiving a beautiful offer or an invite or news. This is a blessing. It is definitely a blessing. You are going to be glowing. You are going to be so happy. This person is exactly the opposite of you. They're opposite. They're, they are. They're, you, you, it's, in, you, it's interesting because you have a lot in common with this person. The age is pretty close. They're, they, this person could be a little bit younger than you, but not a lot. Not a lot younger. And this person is different than you, but you have a lot in common. You know what I'm saying? You're both adventurous in the same way, you know, because we are, we are all adventurous in different ways, but you're both adventurous in the same way. You both have a desire and you both have love. You, I mean, we all do. You both have a desire for, for passion. Um, I think you're both looking. Um, one person is more passionate than the other, put it that way. I mean, that's just the way it is. So the other one is more emotional, but it's a good, it's a good match. Um, there is an emotionally fulfilling offer that is coming. Interesting, because we have two faced and we have the page of wands and the page of cups. This is passion. This is love. So I feel like whoever this person is, obviously they have both qualities. Very, very fiery, very passionate, fearless, gutsy, risky, adventurous, loving, kind, compassionate, flirtatious, playful. Both playful energies here. Looking for love. Anyhow, I do believe that uh, you're gonna get you're gonna get an invite that makes you happy, and I don't know what else to say other than that. It's probably the end of an argument, or the end of loneliness, or whatever. Good luck.